Welcome into this presentation of minor league baseball from the Double-A Texas League. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Corpus Christi Hooks and the Arkansas Travelers. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. J.D. Oilcan will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we're looking at a guy that knows how to pitch. From the stretch. And a cold strike on the game's first pitch as we bring you this one here tonight. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Coming down in buckets. Cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here. And the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. There's a breaking ball over the outer half. Oil can isn't really known as the kind of starter that goes deep into games. It's not that he isn't capable, I'm sure. He just hasn't been that guy that works deep into games with regularity. Matty V, I'm not sure it's this guy's fault, but I think it's more the fault of the metrics and the way we look at pitchers now trying to limit the number of pitches and the number of appearances they have with particular one, one. guys. Shop weekly to the left. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. And here's the big left-handed bat of A.J. Reed. He was one for four with a two-bagger in yesterday's game. First delivery to him on the way. Popped him up. Freitas has a play, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Better be able to have some serious hands and a strong arm to get it over to first. And he checks all the boxes. The one-two. One, one, one. To Beckham at second. Scooped up on the backhand. And safe at first as the first baseman couldn't get the foot back in time, and we'll see how they want to score that. Yeah, and I can speak from experience, and I can tell you, on a night like this, it's tough to get a good grip on the ball. It's a little frigid out there, and he might have lost a little bit of feeling in his fingers. Never easy to make a good throw when that's the case. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. As a hitter, you know the pitcher's trying to work you down around the knees in a double play situation. So making him get a pitch up and actually in the zone, two, two, two. must. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. There's one. Now batting, Enrique Castillo. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Here's the first pitch to him. And that one right down Main Street. First delivery to him on the way. Yeah. Right over the middle, knee high. Now at the plate, Vaughn Sherman. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Now Into the box, Manuel now Castro. Castro. He'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Called strike in a dangerous location there, one and two. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heater. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Nothing across here this half of the inning. To the bottom of inning number four we go. And we are tied, nothing, nothing. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. The guy on the mound must have a different scouting report than we have right here. This looks like a beautiful situation for a double play right here, but he continues to pound up in the zone.
0-2 count. Here's the pitch. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. On to first, a double play. Really good pitch for the pitcher right there. Down in the zone, hits on top of it, induces the ground ball double play. Stepping in now, Enrique Castillo, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Right side. Beckham has it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One hits all they get. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Travelers lead it 1 to nothing. At the plate, Jason Bowden. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Set. Here's the 0-1. Missed with a slider. Grounded softly to the right. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Coming to the plate now, Robbie Green. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First offering on its way. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Hot shot down the line. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Throw into second. And this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm nicely done. Herman. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Popped him up. Young is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. Arkansas leads this thing one to nothing. And hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. There's a strike. Not a bad idea right there. Make this guy work and see if he can throw the ball over the plate. Throws the first pitch for a strike. They need to get some runners on base and not a bad plan. Unfortunately, the pitcher came in with a strike on the first pitch. This is pulled into right. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. Well, we've mentioned the conditions aren't ideal with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. Line drive, that's a base hit into the right center field gap. He's through first and hustling for second. No running, no running. And he's home, not stopping. Home. He wants three. The relay throw, but he is in there with a triple. Well, we've been waiting for an opportunity like this since the game started. One out, and our first run is 90 feet away. The challenge now is to get him home. Derek Fisher the next to bat. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. 